Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Android 100 Survival to the Research Institute in our enticing metropolis because there's something happening right now and that is of course the dreadnought is being finished. Remaining time, 12 seconds on that. A couple of things are changing with that. First of all, we're going to be able to build one dreadnought. That's right, we only get a permit for one dreadnought, for one ship. Uh, let's make it count, hopefully. There it is, finished. Also, we're this getting 6,000, no, 5,700 engineers back that I can continue upgrading now to investors. We need to do this because let's just have a look at that. A dreadnought costs me 48 influence points. We have, of course, the raw materials available and it will take 30 minutes of our time. It has, yeah, more hit points, of course, twice the damage. That's okay. It is slower, of course and it has the same item slots it's a bit underwhelming for the work that you need to put in honestly it has yeah well a few hit points more a bit more damage um but that's it really costs way more too so well we'll see about that now i do need to get that influence right um how do we get that upgrading more investors will not be enough i think but let's try it out not that we do have that many engineers left that we could upgrade. Uh, let's go ahead with those guys here. Of course, for every one of them, we also lose some attractiveness, right? Because we are, of course, boosting them. Let's go ahead with those guys here. And this gives me at least, okay, 30 influence. We're getting somewhere. Uh, 37 influence. If I upgrade now a few more, we are going to lose enticing metropolis status. Yeah, tricky business. Uh, let's also have a few more artisans upgraded. This should give me some um, attractiveness back, right? And also, we are going to delete them further here. A couple more. Yeah, it's it's tight. It's tight. And with that, we lost it to a beguiling metropolis at least. It's still, it's still a good statistic, right? And then we have a few more engineers here. And oh, there we can also go ahead and upgrade those guys there. Oh, that's quite the loss there. But okay, we have to go with it. Let's just also check out once more the attractiveness. Yeah, with the um, artisan and engineer residences, of course. So I would only get more attractiveness if I upgrade some people to artisans, like these guys here. You would get it back. But Beguiling Metropolis is fine, and we're not that far away from the next level. Right. And with that, we have 96. Well, oh, that's actually not that bad. So let's go ahead and get cracking on the Dreadnought. There it goes. Uh, going to take a while now. Under construction, uh, the biggest ship yet. And I think Hello, and I hope, it, yes, we have. Full equipment waiting for it. Um, also, wait a second, there is also still my pirate ship here that needs the handgun. Very good. We just want to make sure that we have them really on the state of the art for whatever I can do. By the way, some of you have been suggesting I should go with the battle cruiser. Uh, not a good idea. We don't have the advanced battle cruiser. So the battle cruiser here is really worse in every possible way, except it's a bit faster, but really just a bit than the battleship. There's no reason really to build the battle cruiser when you can build the battleship. Let's go ahead and build another battleship here because we can afford it um, with the influence that we have. And I would like to do this, of course. Uh, let's just check it out again for the next right now. It's not going to be so simple. We do need 10,000 research points, right? So at this point, I'm calling it quits with the Dreadnoughts, honestly, because this is just ridiculous. <laughs> Getting to 10,000 would need me a huge scholar district to get it with all the fulfillments. Uh, we can, of course, go with another permit. Let's just check it out. We have not enough engineers. There you go. Um to make this happen there too so we can build a few more residences that's going to be fine but 10,000 is really a bit a bit overboard there let's also we could reinforce my harbor i would really like to use my ships though right we have we have them pumped so there is another uh, perforian flamethrower ship i would like to get this one uh, let's go ahead and I don't want to waste a ship all the time. What can we do about that? We could just build a smaller monitor. Yeah, right? This smaller one here. We could just get this one over because, you know, we are full in the queue right now. So I'm not going to, to do anything else here. And we're going to send it over. Equip it with my, with my shippy there once more. And actually, they, they can meet up here. Yeah, they can meet up over there. And with that... We could also use a cargo ship. They're easy and quick to produce. And then I would like to purchase the next one here. Because they're really worth it, I think. So they're having a nice damage output there. There are, I think, 
yeah, they're doing more damage than a battleship and have not that many hit points though. So we need to be a bit careful how we use them, but they're doing just a lot of damage Ship overall. In. Almost as much as a Dreadnought, by the way. A Dreadnought does 200 flat. Of course, we can boost the Dreadnought then further. All right, we've seen a, a Hunt Dreadnought somewhere in the last episode. She's got the advanced battleships, of course, now rolling too, which is the next level of unfairness uh, when it comes to her power. We don't have the advanced ships, and she's got them, and they are way stronger than their normal counterparts. Where's the Dreadnought, though? Is she going with it to Ambeza, perhaps? I think that's it. No, that's an advanced battle cruiser. Hmm, strange. It is somewhere. I have no idea where. Going to have a surprise attack on us, I guess. <laughs> and we don't even see it coming. No. Alright, there's no... I don't see any, any right now anywhere, so... It is somewhere, though, right? Something we need to do in Oreo is pump out a few more uh, coffee roasters. I think with two of them we should be fine. Yep. Getting that production a bit increased. Uh, let's also have a warehouse up here. Wise to take time to learn the nuances. We're not boo Ooh. <laughs> I'm not, I'm rather not boosting them. We still have still the ability to build a trade union here though, if I could afford the influence, but we are saving that for ships right now. Um but I think coffee wise we are fine. We're capped actually. Need to go ahead and upgrade those. Looking a bit overwhelmed with all the Yeah, all the cars coming in. The carts. Alright, this hunt's presence here is getting a bit intensified, uh, destroying some of my cargo ships again. So let's move the fleet in. Of course I'm eager anyway because I want to see how my fully upgraded ships are doing here. By the way, we're getting close to 300,000. Which I think is really amazing considering how many battleships we have and each one of them costs me what? 2,000. We got a lot of them in Beza now, in the new worlds. Ah, come on, getting right into my trade corridor again. Yeah, it's always that tricky thing, um, wasting influence on harbor defense when you can also just build ships with it. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's build the anti-armor gun, the second one here. Very good against those, Your harbor is under attack. those ships, yeah. My oil tanker getting right into the thick of it. Where's my ships? There they are. Such structures yeah they are look at that my my sailing ships are faster rolling in trying to do some good here of course she's going to lose some ships we can't allow that to happen and she definitely will lose them she can definitely destroy some of my wooden ships there no problem number one is down uh, there's actually quite a few of them of course we want to thin the herd here as much as possible Boy, those battleships are really slow. <laughs> They're just not coming up here. There's this advanced battle cruiser up there. No, it's a normal one, okay. And of course, it's totally fine that this normal basic ship of the line is stronger almost than two of my royal warships because, of course, it's mishunt. Yeah, it's giving up. To flee and we can take it down. Ship right. I mean, at this point, I think the loot is not really worth it anymore. We don't need the money, we don't need the items really. Right, there is what? Effects all crop farms. Oh, well, this is actually, of course, a good one. Productivity increased by 70% for the crop farms. And we can use it on any trade union. So I might actually consider this on my coffee or on my couch. That was fine. Uh, let's get them a bit further over here again. I heard that we also oh, built another okay. battleship. There it is. Let's equip it right away. A handgun, um, a Corsair, the Romanov, and a mortar. No, wait a second, not the mortar. Hi. Let's have this one here, the reinforced bulkhead. Hit point increase and damage from ships reduced. 
That's pretty Loading cool. Station. All right, so this one is fully equipped, and let's get it to my main fleet. We can also just assign it to the main fleet group that we have, and probably move it somewhere, somewhere over there. Oh, there's also a mission ship over there. We'll go down, I think. More than ready. What I like about battleships is they can fire 360 degrees. So while we move towards this area, we can still fire ships on the back. That's their big strength over normal wooden ships. Down it is. Alright, I think also meanwhile, yes, we have arrived. Can hmm. I purchase this one? 17 influence is really not that much for such a big ship. And let's of course give it the, the peace mode. And then, what's the name of it? Fortitude. And let's give Fortitude some proper ship, uh, some proper items. Definitely a mortar this time. Um, then of course my my Corsair again if I find it. There's also the black flag. We could attack any ship we want with that. That's pretty cool actually. There's the Corsair. And probably a Romanov if we have one. Would be ideal. There it is. Romanov with 20% more damage per shot and also attack speed, uh, attack range increase. And then the handgun here once more for damage per shot further increased. And this we take with us so we can get it. Um, by the way, also I should probably... Probably also go for some more reinforced bulkheads then that we can use. Once we leave here. Uh, my monitor, we can sell it. 250,000, that's actually quite a lot. We built, I think we purchased it for what? 300,000? 350,000, so we didn't even lose that much money. That's great, great stuff indeed. Now, still haven't found her right now. I'm looking. There it is. Holy cow. Alright, it is in the old world. It is just like, it's just a battle cruiser, really, just much bigger, right? It's like twice the size. And that's it. So, in that case, this is, of course, our target number one. Once we have our own version. And I will sell actually a few shares from Bente. We don't need the money anymore, really, right? I will never be able to take it over. It costs me a billion, right? So, I would need to wait ages to take over one island. Um, we can, however, just sell some shares and with the influence we get back, we can then continue with building another ship. So there's another Dreadnought, uh, another battleship coming up to together with the Dreadnought. And the Dreadnought, it's close to completion. Research for the scholars is still taking some time. Uh, of course, we could still upgrade. Uh, we got a few farmers not on this island though, but in, yeah, here in below way. Let's do this. Getting me a few more workers in. Very good. 400 that we can upgrade. So a bunch here. This should give me then, yep, some more attractiveness once more. That we can use. And I guess also these guys here. That's it. Very good. And this gives me 600 arsons again. That once more I can also then upgrade. We have that many more buildings Ship to upgrade. There it is. My Dreadnought, my I'm very own one. <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed, honestly, with the skin. So, you know, it's Give just really, it's a battle it. cruiser, just two times the size. I would have loved a, a different skin. Like, the battleships have their own skin. Right. Would have been amazing. But okay, there it is. And let's just go ahead and give it some proper items. I think it will get the mortar too. I don't think, no, I don't think the mortar isn't worth it that much because we're doing so much damage on its own already that I think just boosting it with items should be perfectly fine. Let's get it over here. There should also be my second Perforian coming in soon somehow, somewhere. There it is right now. Closing in with more items, of course. And this one here will also get the neutral item then again. And there, it, it's all coming together. So the the Dreadnought, of course, is the biggest one. It's way bigger than a normal battleship. And let's just have a look here. There it is. That stuff will be the making of you. And then, of course, we can equip the handgun for the Perforian too. Now, actually, I don't have any items anymore for the Dreadnought because we've used it all now on the Perforian too. There's still something here that I could use. Damage per shot increase. 
boosted over 300, but of course there's better items than this. And hit points we have 18,000, compare this to 12,000 with a boosted battleship. I might consider boosting it further with the hit points. I really don't want to lose it, as it's so hard to actually build one. Let's get back to the pirate, because we will still need to purchase more items, of course. And Sean... Okay, we're boosting into 46. That's still not enough for the trade ride. And also Bente. Normal trade rides as it stands. A few more items. One of them is actually, I think, the most important one. The Vice Admiral Adams. Not only does it give me a bit more hit points, also it enables active healing during combat. And I think with a uh, Dreadnought with uh, that many hit points, I think this is actually one of the most um, powerful ones that you can have in this in this area here. Plus, of course, we get also a better handgun here and a, a few more better generals or captains, that is. All right, that's on the way. By the way, no, <laughs> there's no other Perforian ship available right now. Sean is, is he also selling ships? I think he is. Yeah, not really powerful ones though. Now we've a taste of so Sean doesn't offer me anything at this so point. I would though still like to really have a look at his I pride his uh, his his wares there. So I, I'm I'm still going to push it uh, really hard. Also, by the way, we got the legendary level for the swing machines, so they're really, really worth it now. Um, with that, having the highest level, also we get a, another building permit, of course. I think for the for the oh, actually two expert offices we have available, so I could actually go ahead with two more trade contracts. Even though I th I'm pretty happy with how it is, I don't even know what to fill in the elevator with. Probably some additional couchug if we need that, but for me that's really it at this point. When it comes to the Docklands, we have another permit for the scholars. Let's build those three jolly good fellas, and then probably move one of those window makers. We Very good. Over here, so we can build two more. Are yes, yes, Sean, take the money. Cause? Yeah, we have them. This will probably, yeah, it will definitely raise me to six thousand, but that's it, right? Whew. Getting to ten thousand is is hard. A hard business but only a second right now i don't know let's get the new battleship over i don't have any influence anymore anyway so building another battleship probably won't do me good at the moment i really would like to see my dreadnought in action though that's the fun stuff even though i think it will not make a difference against a defense like this My shopping ship has also returned, so let's just get yeah, this one over there. Then we're going to get the advanced one over, the active healing we're getting in here, the Corsair is already in, and then probably, yeah, Polista. Ready for right. assignment. We get to 400 damage with that. That's twice more than twice as much as a fully upgraded battleship. That's really cool. So the damage should be there, at least. Uh, Polista, also a mortar on Loading the battleship stations. here. And then Romanov 2 for the increased damage. Getting this to 200. Alright. Sanat, you can actually go back to the pirate at some point. We'll definitely need you again. Off it goes. Attention for the Admiral. Is that my ship? That's my ship here. We have another Perforian. Stations. That's a jolly good fleet, I should say. With that, we can go happy hunting if we like to. And I would like to be a bit annoying to Miss Hunt there. Let's just try to have a look at those defenses there. And as you can see, we're getting so much damage in before we even arrive. It's insane. I'm already going to lose a battleship just for trying. Try to get it out there. Alright, at least it's not damage. going down. Mm, get it over there. Repairing. At least we haven't lost it, right? Though it has cleared some sea mines there. We might still try to move in here with the rest. But for what, really? Because we will not be able to take this island ever. I, I have no, I have no um, false belief here, right? These islands are not conquestable i think we would need five right now to something and i think that grind is just huge to just get there really and then just for trying hmm. 
All right, there is a few ships coming in here right now that we can try, have a look at. I like the before in already. Flashy. <laughs> Though it has to be in very close range, of course. Right. Dramatic weather kicks in too, just for the heck of it. Where is her dreadnought? Up here, I think she has less defense. Yep, let's move up there. Let's move actually into this area there a bit. Even though this is also looking ridiculous. Hmm. And we already took heavy damage just by those smaller skirmishes. Where do we get the damage from? There it is, but still, is that range? Oh, yeah. Even the fully upgraded battleships are not doing a lot of damage to normal harbor artillery. Fleet awaiting orders. So ladies and gents, and this is how a, a full attack with all my battleships with my dreadnoughts is looking into a harbor area. Um, we do have the mortars here. I cleared some with the sea mines. We're trying to take down some here, but look at that. So, in that case, I honestly really don't know what the goal is for the Combat Overhaul mod in the end game right now. To me, it is too unbalanced. It is almost impossible to take over islands and it's also just flat out not fun doing it because you need to grind out so many ships, you need to, to equip them so hard with all the items um, and then just to fail in a B island, right? So this is really a small defense compared to the, the bigger ones. And we, we, we don't even stand a chance here, honestly. It's just it's just not going to happen, right? Um, we have max range here right now, trying to fight them, but there's so many harbor tillers here. They're all overpowered. There is so many sea mines. So every centimeter that I move, it's, it's flat out destruction for the ships itself. Um, we have the Dreadnought, of course, doing most of the job here. But that's it. And I've lost my main fleet just by trying to take in a smaller harbor area. And that's it for me. Honestly, we are ending the series at this point. We built the Dreadnought, the biggest ship. We survived to the end game. We built all the monuments that I would like to build. We built a beautiful big city. Really used every inch there. But with the combat overhaul mod, the end game, honestly to me, is not fun. The challenge early on is fun. But at this point, it's just, just too much, really, right? You can't, you can't do any damage to the enemy anymore. Uh, I don't know how many dreadnoughts I would need to build to even even try to take over an island here realistically. Um, it probably would take me 30 hours just to, to get four building permits out uh, for, for those dreadnoughts here. So this is, this is the end. It's not, at this point I'm calling it quits because it's not fun to me anymore. It's just too much of a grind, too much of a hassle to, to not achieve anything really at the end, right? So I don't know, this does not seem right here. Um, other than that, I hope you had fun with this series and Rage on Survival. I definitely had fun up to yeah the later stages. Um, and to me, we can we can say salute to Miss Hunt. We have an equal parity of power, I should say. So she will not be able to take over my main island. I will not be able to take over her islands. Uh, we're at balanced relationships with the other ones. And to me, that's okay. We can end it here. Um, world domination never was the goal after all. My dreadnought is fighting briefly, but even the Dreadnought has no chance of ever doing any difference here at all for the cost that it requires to build it. It's, yeah, it's as if, as if, if it wouldn't exist there at all. Let's have a last look at um, Vega, because I think that's that's what's worth it, right? A beautiful big city, uh, probably the most efficient city that I've built so far, because every centimeter really has been has been used here for the maximum and I've also achieved my goal of having a beautiful big industrial harbor um, that just makes the city, gives it justice to the money we get out of it. And with that, I wish you all the best. Thanks to all my patrons, also for your support. Thanks for everyone basically that is uh, watching these videos. Thank you for your support and onwards to new adventures, I should say. Stay tuned. You broke the key off in the lock. Go on.